Did y'all miss me? Because I missed you. Are we ready? Let's play with some makeup. I actually didn't do my makeup for like two or three days because Ben surprised me and then we went from Milan to Lake Como. So I just, I was gone. I wasn't gonna miss a thing. So I would just put on brow gel. I didn't even do mascara most days and I was out the door. Let's try it out. So this is the new palette from Patrick Ta, and we're gonna swatch the eye bases. Y'all know how much I love a black eyeshadow base, but I don't have a brown one, so I love that situation. That looks nice. That was my nail, by the way. I don't want y'all to think it's patchy, but that looks so nice. I like the texture. It's gonna be a tacky base, but that's what we want because we want those shadows to grab. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a C31. I just unpacked everything, so it's chaos chaos it's a beautiful chaos but, it, but it's, it's it's i'm not even done unpacking it's chaos so remember i'm always filming another video with this let's do this eye over here i'm so excited so these are very pigmented but what i want to do is i want to start from my lash line y'all hear the snoring oh my gosh did y'all miss jean bean i did oh my goodness I was so sleepy last night. We got in at midnight and we traveled. I don't even know how long we traveled. Doesn't matter. I stayed up even longer just to hold Doug and Jean. I literally fell asleep with them in my arms. I love them so much. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is I'm focusing most of the base, the deepest part of the base on the lid and the lash line and then the brush is just gonna deposit the color and it's gonna be lighter towards the brow. I'm not gonna take this all the way up to the brow, but I do want it to transition. See how this goes from darkest to lightest? That's really what happens when you just start to tap it. Also, do not worry in here. That's gonna be clean up later. It feels so good to sit here and chat about makeup with y'all. And I'm gonna be doing several looks with this because I wanna see these shadows without this color base as well but I did want to see how the base was going to do and what we were going to be able to achieve with it because I do love a base. Love this color. I had a really good question. Somebody asked if I would recommend these as eyeliner. Yes and no. If you want to lay that down and then set it, that's going to be better. Use one of these. You could use the black one or the brown one to set it obviously, depending on which one you choose, but no, because they're not going to set and it will move. It'll be a mess. So. As long as you set it, yes, but if you're just wanting to go in, use it as a liner, no. Ha ah, ha I love it already. So I grabbed this shade a couple taps and I'm gonna go ahead and set through here, right under, right, up, right almost to the brow bone. I'm gonna use a lighter color there, but I'm noticing that these look like suede and that's a beautiful texture. This is already a different texture than some of my other matte colors. Don't you be judging me, it's falling off. Um, so I like that it's a different, I know it's a matte, but not all mattes are the same. For reference, I never have loved the Pat McGrath mattes. Um, I'm already loving that this is a very um, 90s matte. I know some of y'all might not remember the 90s. <laughs> but uh, if you'll go back and look at Kevin Aquan's uh, work, his book, the mattes have a very specific texture and look to them. Now, oh, I know you're seeing this, it looks horrible. If you're new here, we, we trust the process. Okay, I did a whole collab and the whole collab is called Trust the Process. <laughs> I fail to get certain looks. Um, you have to kind of step out of your comfort zone and you have to see that end result. You just have to envision it. You're not gonna see it at first, you have to envision it. So what we're doing is we're grabbing this shade and we're gonna grab that on the tip of the brush so we can just tilt our head back and push that into the socket. This is perfectly normal. See that creasing? Perfectly normal. Just like with any base. I don't want y'all to get this palette and think that these cream shadows are something you can wear on their own and then go, oh my God, this is terrible. You have to set them and set them, you have to press that eyeshadow into it. Right now I'm pushing it in with the tip of the brush so we can get a little bit more definition into the socket. And then I'll use the side and transition it into that other shade we already have on. By the way, they're blending like an absolute dream. The shadows, they're blending the exact same way I would want them to blend. I feel like they'd be very easy to blend even for a beginner. 
that's something to mention. I'm just adding a little bit more of that darker shade over here into the socket. I'm having zero issues with blending. I, I know that I blend a lot, but even if you're um, not doing extreme looks all the time and you find yourself in a hurry, because you might have the skill, it might just take you a little bit longer, but let's think about it. Say we're in a hurry. Um, these would be good shadows already, I can tell, if you're in a hurry because they're just, they blend very quickly. Listen, this man was in his office back here peacefully on his phone. He has now escaped his office in the hallway having a very important conversation that is very much needing to be under an NDA. I'm going to need y'all to sign an NDA, but then I won't let y'all in on all the secrets. <laughs> I mean, they're not scary secret secrets. It's just like Rosenbin beauty secrets, that kind of fun stuff. Um, but okay, I think he's moved on. I was actually going to tell y'all what brush I'm using, and that's the E28, which I'm going to link right here. And I also don't know if y'all know this. A lot of y'all might not know this, but we have Sheila now. Well, we did. She went to Milan with me. So we all can have a Sheila. That's new. I don't know if y'all have seen it, but I, um, I'll just link this for right now, but you'll see it on the site. It's our newest launch. We don't have that much stuff. <laughs> now let's take this shade, and that's going to go on our brow bone. And then we'll just tap it over this way. See what a difference that made? Let's give a little bit of lift. If you've ever wondered why we put a lighter shade on our brow bone, it's to add just a little bit of lift. So anytime you highlight something, it brings it forward. So you're seeing that and it's just adding a little bit of brightness to the eye. So this color I think is my favorite from the palette. <laughs> I know I haven't used the other ones, but I know I'm gonna reach for this one. So we want a lot of that on the brush, but first, as always, we're gonna make sure that this is nice and smooth across the lid. And then we're gonna go right in and we're gonna really press this into that base so it's really nice and set. Is this color not stunning? It, it, it's suede, it's, it's the most beautiful texture. And I know that y'all are gonna to wanna to know if it's similar to Mario's. It's a completely, you know, I don't like to say things are better because they're different, but this is different than the Mario texture for sure. It actually reminds me of the matte textures from Mario's Ethereal Eyes, the one that was discontinued or out of stock. I don't remember what happened with it, but that's what these mattes remind me of more. I love. So when I woke up this morning, I said, I'm just gonna do something simple. Now I'm not here drawing lines, but you know what? I will say this is a super easy line. I want to try out the black base too. So we're just gonna throw this in here. Just relax my eye. And I know you might be thinking that's still precise. It really and truly doesn't have to be because we're gonna take the black eyeshadow and an E27 and smudge it even more. I do like how it's a little bit thicker through here. And then don't forget that we can see that, not a problem. I love when things happen like that. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. There we go, good enough on that. We'll come back and fix that in a second. We should just do Dalmatian eyes. <laughs> now grab this color on our E27, the black, and then just press that on top. Now I can shut one eye at a time to make this easier, I was saying tilting your head back works perfectly. You can just really get in there. And then I'm just going to soften it over this way. And I don't even mind if it transitions a little bit onto my lid. This brush fits in the inner corner so perfectly. It's what it was designed for. And I'm just going to keep building up the black, but I'm really making sure that the base is set. And then I'm going to relax and then just see what else I need to do to make them match. Looks like I need to make this a little bit thicker towards the front. Tilt it back and bring the black over this way a little bit more. So this base is actually gonna be pretty easy to fix. I'm just going to, and I normally don't tug on my eyes, but we're lightly tugging. I'm just pushing that, okay? This will be that same one with the black eyeshadow. I'm just gonna wipe it off on Sheila. Perfect. Go back into the lid color, that really pretty suede color. Tap it on top, see? And we can even clean up in here a little bit more if we wanted to. 
and I'm using the side of the brush. See how easy that was? I feel like most of us would have panicked, right? And it was nothing. We just lightly scooped it away with the C30. Oh, I really like this eye. I'm just cleaning up that, add a little bit more definition. But most of us would have freaked out. You don't have to. It's so easy to correct things if we just stay calm and we know exactly what tool to grab. So I want to do black liner, but the one that I'm using is currently a secret. So I'm gonna have to do it off camera, but we're just gonna do black wing liner. I'm gonna try to keep it pretty thin. Do you hear that? That's the sound of secrets. <laughs> All right, let's clean up with some micellar water. I'm just gonna take right, see here? I don't wanna go into here. It's gonna be better to cover that up with your foundation or concealer, but I'm just gonna take it here. And then of course, underneath here, and we're doing this with our C30. We're doing Roquel Beauty lashes. This is the style Aurora. I'm actually out of moonlight and full moon. I don't wanna talk about it. I need to order more of them. I should have ordered more before my trip, but then I didn't even wear makeup, but I think twice, so, or three times. I'm gonna do a small amount of foundation. Um, the shade I have, I love this foundation, by the way, but it's a little too dark for me. I bought this last summer, or at the end of summer, I was pretty tan. But I also, I got this because I feel like it'd be really helpful with other foundations that you might already have. Of course, it's gonna pair beautifully because it's gonna be the same formula. Um, but if you have some foundations that are too dark, I feel like this would be so amazing. I love the formula. Shake everything up. If it's a liquid, if it's a liner, if it's anything that's a liquid, shake it up. I mean, it's just, I know some of y'all probably do, but some of us might not know. And it's really important to shake up liquids. It really makes a difference. I also just found, I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll talk about it in a second, but we're gonna do a really pretty fall brown lip. Super affordable, we're gonna get to it. I got excited. Probably shouldn't have even showed you, but I wanted to show you we're doing a cool tone brown lip. It's just suede all the way around. So I'm gonna do a pump and a half of this color. I will say the House Labs unfortunately does run a little warm. Mm -hmm. This right here, I'm gonna show you my perfect shade of foundation and it's actually a, con a gay, uh, concealer. Everything I know and love has ran away. There it is. <laughs> this is gonna be my perfect shade of foundation. Just absolutely perfect. But everything just, oh, everything just tends to run a little too warm. Now the white's gonna help with that and that's what we're gonna add. So then I did one pump of the white. I'm just gonna mix it together. And then here's what I'm, the foundation. Do I still have that on my face? I do. I'm gonna show you the difference. It's still gonna be a little bit warm, but not too warm. I won't have to add anything, any red blush to it or anything of that nature. And then, see, that's better. That's a lot better. Still not perfect, but way better. Let's grab our C42. I'm gonna let y'all see what the C42 does. So smooth. Oh yeah, that's a really good match now. Just lightening it up a little bit. Foundation just keeps going and going. I'm gonna add a little bit more to the top part. I don't want a whole lot of foundation on, but see, I didn't put as much as I normally do. Just a little bit. We're still gonna do a little bit of concealer. There he is, ruckusing again on the phone. Now, I think I wanna lighten my concealer a little bit. I'm excited. I have missed just sitting here hanging out with y'all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the white foundation and I'm just gonna apply it. It's gonna get mixed in with the concealer. I'm not doing some kind of crazy bright under eye, but I did wanna lighten it. But then I don't wanna change, um, change the color of it. So white's just gonna lighten it. It might look like I'm being strategic. I'm not, I'm literally just drawing on my face for fun. Just there. Now I'm gonna grab my concealer and I'm putting it on the back of my hand because again, if I go on here and then go back in here, I'm gonna change the color and I love uh, the exact tone this is. So I don't wanna change that, but I do want to brighten it just for today, just having fun. Okay, there we go. Put that on top. And 
and then I have a little bit more. Wonderful. Now it's just lightened up. I did go ahead and mix it here. Clean up there, and then I wanna clean up underneath my wing as well. You know what's interesting? My skin feels more tired from traveling than it ever does from putting on makeup. I will say, I, uh, I, I don't love the getting there. I love the experience of the place, but the plane and all of that, whew, that's why you don't see me posting it. <laughs> You're gonna see me sitting there like, <laughs> you know how a lot of people when they travel, especially in my line of work, um, uh, you know, whatever, I don't, influencer, um, they're, they very much show the getting there process. You ever notice I don't show that? <laughs> Cause I'm going through it. <laughs> don't ever expect travel vlogs out of me. Just don't, you're not gonna like them. It's gonna be a horror story. I'm gonna take that same C31 we used earlier for the brown base. I'm just wiping it on Sheila. And then I'm gonna start to tap this out. Just really close to the lash line underneath here. And this is really important because this is where we get the creasing. And this is why we want that small brush underneath there. Fits in there really, really nicely because the rest of it, once it's blended, can just be tapped out with your C42. And it's actually so fast. Perfect. Really into this Merit bronzer situation. Notice how, okay, just really quickly, we have lots of videos on contour, but see my natural contour there? It's very gray. This is not contour, so I'm applying it much higher. This is bronzer. But I really love this. You're gonna see why it's really easy to blend. Again, still not sculpting. I'm creating that flow down into my chest. It's more for color than it is shape. Where's my C40? Get my C40, there it is. Let's tap that in. See how blendy, blendy. Look how pretty that is, and it doesn't blend away either. I'm enjoying it. And I have no powder on my face. Warm up my nose. We don't have any powder on, and I feel like the skin just looks amazing. That bronzer bomb, the Merit, y'all are gonna like that. Okay, I haven't blended out my nose yet. I got too excited, but this just looks so good. And then I'm gonna hop off really quickly because I wanna film with this right here. This is the new color from Danessa Myricks, and I feel like it's gonna be really blurring. I'm so excited. So let me hop off and film that, but that way y'all know what I'm using. I'm back. This blush is gorgeous. I even find that it's definitely blurring. Obviously, it's not just a blur. I don't wanna be like, oh my God, it's so blurring, but I definitely see that it's very diffusing. I don't have any powder on, and I feel like even once you set it, it's going to be stunning. I love the color on me. Um, I did, you'll see in the video, I tapped in a couple times, but for my skin tone, obviously for deeper skin tones, we would tap in more. For my skin tone, which is light medium, one tap was enough. With the C42, it was magical. It's a 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> I love it. Now I'm going to set with my one size ultra pink powder. I feel like that'll really enhance the blush. It's gonna look so transitioned and so nice. I love it. Both of these together, so pretty. Okay, so I did this off camera, it's so easy. So what I did was I took the black base who let the gremlin in? And I did a really thin line with my E26. I kind of wanted to darken the lash line a little bit more anyways. Then I took a touch, I'm talking the tiniest amount of this shade on the tip of my E27 and I pressed that on top of the black base. And then I grabbed my E29 and I grabbed our lid shade and I looked up and I just tapped this to transition it. Then I'm taking this shade, I already did it, but look at this, it's so pigmented. You can, you can clean up with it. I'm gonna have to shut my window. Listen, let's, I'm, uh, I have only one conspiracy theory. Do you wanna hear it? Do you wanna, do you wanna get in on this with me? Listen. <laughs> 
Okay, here it is. This might be absolutely internet breaking. The moment they announce the next iPhone coming out, the color temperature. You see how it keeps going in and out? It hasn't been doing that. Mm -mm. Not till they announced it. The moment they announce it, my color temperature starts going crazy on my phone. That's probably not true, but it's something I noticed. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do our cool brown lip. I'm gonna put on my gloss. This one is from NYX. These, this is milky gloss situations. I absolutely love this formula. Look at how pigmented that is. It's so pretty. I think I'm gonna have to grab, of course it just ran away. I think I'll do Stormy, let me find it. But how pretty is that? Then we'll finish this up with Stormy Lip Liner from Natasha Denona. It's very cool toned. So I went ahead and shut my window. Um, I feel like there was too much lighting from different sources. It's a really good tip. If you are a content creator and you're really wanting to get your, this is, in fact, this is front camera, but if you really wanna get it really crisp, and this is very crisp, even for front camera, one direct light, whether that just be your sunlight um right now like i said i'm having issues with the color temperature i swear it's my favorite conspiracy really it's the only conspiracy i talk about <laughs> and only to bend now y'all <laughs> but just direct light in front in front of your face just one light not one two three it's not that complicated with an iphone with a camera it's a lot different but iphone just likes that one light directly in front of you now my final thoughts on the palette is I prefer this palette over Patrick's other palettes. I don't ever reach for those. You you notice that I never reach for them. Um, <laughs> I just don't. I would probably reach for a ColourPop palette uh, before that, but these mattes are incredible. They're special and I feel like the formula is really good. They mesh together beautifully and I like that there's no shimmers. I feel like we all probably have a ton of shimmers, but most of us might not have a really bomb matte palette. Um, so yes, I loved it. It's a 10 out of a 10 for me. Again, keep in mind, I don't use the other palettes. They're not bad palettes, but they just don't speak to me. And this one actually does. This is so funny to me. Do you see how it just went in? It just goes, <laughs> it doesn't normally do that. Tag nab iPhone. Um, anyways, if you don't have one of these, go get one. You will love it. It's definitely a gloss. It's not sticky though, but it definitely, I mean, it's a gloss. You kind of feel it there, but they really do stay in place nicely. They don't move around. Um, I really love this formula and I love the colors. I feel like the colors are really unique. All right, I'm going to go finish filming some more stuff. I missed y'all so much. Mm. So tomorrow, I think it would be fun to kind of go through some, I, some of the Kiko stuff I got while I was there. Um, instead of because i haven't really tried anything new all i would tell you tell you is i like that so let's go through that tomorrow that'll be really fun because i don't know if you know this but kiko is on amazon they have a lot of stuff on amazon so it's really easy to get so i thought we would do that i don't want to overwhelm y'all tomorrow but i really haven't looked through what i got i got a bunch of stuff so i want to look through it with y'all we'll do that tomorrow all right i love you i love you with all of my heart um, I think I ha I'm going to post an ad tonight, but uh, of course, it's going to be helpful and fun. But I love you so much, and I will see you there. I'm back only because so many of y'all are agreeing with me that iPhone is sabotaging us. <laughs> Now I'm not alone. Okay, I love y'all. Bye for now.